So just, you know, for spite, I bearded them. I mean, I knew that the CIA would get this testimony, but nevertheless, I said, you gave me your word. You absolutely guaranteed Bill Miller was the, the chief staffer and Gary Hart. You gave me your word you would protect me, and you made an issue out of it. And then without even clearing it with me, you sent my testimony to the CIA. And their answer was, well, come on, in, in truth, we can't get into something like this without making them aware of it, in addition to which they already had copies, as I'm sure you, you knew well now. Now, two people sitting on the committee staff in the hearings were former colleagues of mine, at that point working full-time for the Senate Oversight Committee staff. And no doubt leaking the uh, documents back. Open plants, right. open plants, right, right on, the, on the innermost committee. Hmm. The symbiotic relationship, you know, it's called the old boy thing, it's called the establishment. Now, of course, the, the classic case is this Tom Polgar, who has been brought in to help the Congress organize the investigation of the Iranamuk uh, scandal. This is the chief of station from Saigon, who is responsible for the great debacle. Uh, of yeah, the he evacuation. Was the one, he was the one you, you told us about in a previous program who gave uh, top secret American information weekly to the North Vietnamese. Yeah, to the Hungarians <laughs> who were delivering yeah. it to the North Vietnamese and thwarted our efforts to plan for an effective orderly uh, withdrawal uh, and honored CIA agents who had dumped their Vietnamese employees and intervened up country to save the Hungarian communists who were in upcountry posts who were no danger but to fly them out courtesy of the CIA and who, while he was keeping us from getting our people out, got his own personal household effects out <laughs> safely early. Uh, while he was telling us there wasn't going to be an evacuation, he packed up his own personal stuff and got it out. And now he's and this a good liaison man. What, what exactly is his function in this I, I don't know exactly how, but it's been published that he's been brought in to help them and investigate. Yeah. <laughs> and mind you, this is a very, very senior uh, CIA official now retired, and so he would, he would not be a, a clerk. He's, and he would obviously be leaking back to the CIA whatever he thought they'd want to know that Congress was investigating. And also having lunch and breakfast with the uh, senators and guiding their thoughts with mm. suggestions and national Leading them security. away from certain sensitive CIA operations. Using his influence. Well, let's face it, there are too many senators and congressmen that are overly bright and informed, so they rely on these people. Yeah. And they're completely ignoring the Christic Institute case in Miami where they have all this information and they're laying it out. Yeah, the Christic Institute thing is, uh, I talked to Anthony Lewis about it and he wouldn't respond he's with interest. Times, right? Yeah, now I, I, he's perhaps uh, the, the most liberal or uh, yeah. closest to, uh, to a progressive of any major columnist and uh, I couldn't get any response from him on that. Now, as we've said before, the Christic Institute uh, ha invites uh, some criticism because a lot of stuff they're putting out in that affidavit is not accurate. And when we've documented that for them, by me, I, myself, Frank Snepp, and Ralph McGeehee, who were there in Vietnam and, and said, this is clearly not wrong, instead of cleaning it up. Not right. Not right, not right yeah, yeah. Not, not correct. Instead of cleaning it up, they, they have reprinted the thing and then continued mailing it out and Danny Brandt and others you know checking them out on errors and but see that's not why the major media is is boycotting the Christic thing the major media is not willing to to cut loose or disassociate from Secord and Shackley and crew and that's you know the, when it gets right down to it someone who's attacking them the, those individuals is attacking the establishment of which the major media is apparently part because they will not join in even basic publicity for a lawsuit that's exposing these people. They're boycotting it because it's striking too close to the heart of the establishment itself.